Since the dawn of time, whenever you think of a bagel, you think of one place, and that's New York City. Unless, of course, you're from London, where there's one street famous for its bagels. London is known for many famous battles. Many invasions that took place over the years, and of course, the Battle of Cable Street, where the anti-fascists drove the nasty fascist Nazi sympathizers away. And of course, the many ongoing battles between rival football clubs like West Ham and Millwall and Chelsea. But there's one battle that's bigger than the rest. The Battle of the Bagel. In 1855, the Bagel Shop opened here on Brick Lane and they enjoyed 118 years of unrivaled Brick Lane bagel dominance. And then in 1974, another bagel shop opened two doors down, Bagel Bake. Come with me as I visit both shops, buy exactly the same thing, compare the prices, compare the flavour and see which bagel is better. Will it be the bagel shop on the left or bagel bake on the right? We finally find out which Brick Lane bagel is Brick Lane's best bagel. Can I get a salt beef bagel? How much is the original idea for salt beef? Sorry, bro. So that's salt beef, is it? Ah, never. When will it be ready? Okay, no worries. It was a disaster in the bagel shop. I waited and then they said the salt beef would be ready for another three hours. I guess if it's that good, it's worth the wait. Maybe I'll come back in three hours time. That said, I can see there's plenty of salt beef in Bagel Bay. So let's go in there instead. Yes, please. Well, at least I got one bagel. Check it out, this is what it looks like. Full of mustard, a pickle, got another pickle. Let's have a try. Mmm. Mmm. Look how flaky it is. This salt beef bagel is very good. So I'm back at the hotel room now after finishing off that fantastic bagel. The meat was really juicy and it was really flaky. The bagel obviously was baked this morning because it was soft in the right places and then like crunchy and crispy. Uh, the mustard and the pickle, you know, if you know me, you know how much I love pickled gherkins. The reason I'm back at the room is I've got a three hour wait until the salt beef at the other one is cooked. Later that same evening. I'm heading back over there now to have my second bagel of the day. Maybe a blessing in disguise because I was really full after my first bagel. So I might not have been able to finish my second bagel. Now I've got a three hour gap in between. I get to smash that one too. Three hours later from when I left the bagel shop. Bitterly disappointed when I left empty handed. I am back. Let's hope they've restocked on their salt beef. Let's go see. Oh, there she is, boys. Let's go inside. And finally, I got my bagel, my second bagel of the day. Let's hope it's worth the three hour wait. I had a bit of a row in the shop for filming, so I didn't get any footage. It's now dark outside as well, so I can't really find any real light where I can set up my GoPro and eat my bagel. And of course, shortage is pretty rough, so I'm gonna get back to the hotel. And I'm back in my room where it's nice and light and I have a clean desk where I can deconstruct my bagel bit by bit to show you the goodness inside. Let's see where we go here. Oh there she is boys. The meat's a little bit darker in colour. The gherkin's a little bit thinner but that might be they might be able to stay in the uh, bagel a bit better. Let's have a bite. 
Well, I've had a bagel now from the bagel shop and the bagel bake. It come to the time where I must choose a winner, but I can't. Both have very good meat, both have very good bread, both have very good pickles. Also, both cost the same. They both cost five pounds. So there's no real difference. People in London get very tribal over which bagel place they go. There's been fights in the street over it. There's been families broken up over there. Relatives who haven't spoken to each other over which bagel shop they like. Take my advice. If you're in Brooklyn and you fancy a bagel, go to the one with the shortest queue because you will get served a lot faster than the one with the biggest queue. It's science. You can't argue with science. So I'm going to finish the last half of my bagel. And if you've reached this far, thank you for watching. As they say in Sandow, ciao for now.